Hi everyone, welcome to I Speak English. My name's Hayley and I'm an English as a foreign language teacher. I've been teaching online for three years now and I'm here to show you how to work Google Slides from a student's point of view. So let's take a look at Google Slides then. Okay, so Google Slides you can access directly from your main screen. If you go up here, this is where all your Google Apps are and if you go down to here, you can see Google Slides. So click that and it will open a blank slide for you. You can take a tour if you want and that will show you everything. But for now, I'm going to show you how to uh, create a new slide. So hit blank here. And then there you go, you've got a new slide. First of all, important, name the slide so that if you're giving this for an assignment or something, your teacher knows what assignment it is. So let's say you're doing a presentation on uh, linguistics or something. Just call it linguistics. And then you can just delete all these titles and stuff. You don't need them. So if you want to change the background of your slides, you can go up here to background and then you can just choose uh, a nice color. And then if you want to kind of write something in boxes, if you want some white, you can go up here to insert and you can start adding different things. So I'm just going to add a shape. And I'm going to add in kind of white box. Now in each of these, if you want to fill in these, you've got a little fill tool here and that will fill the color for you, make it white. Now, if you want to move these around, you can just move them around with the arrow keys on your keyboard. And then I want to give a title to this. So I'm going to go up to insert and I'm going to add a text box. So every time you want to write something, you need to add a text box. And your text, you can change up here your font. Uh, so I'm going to go, I'm going to choose this font here. And you can change the size of your font as well. So I'm going to go quite big. And I'm going to put linguistics. If you want to move your text into the middle, here is where you align everything. So you can go left, middle, right. So I'm going to stick mine in the middle there. I'm going to make it a bit bigger as well because that's a bit small. Okay, cool. That's nice and big. So I've got my linguistics presentation. So let's say you want to add some images. Go up here and you've got insert image. Now you've got two options. You can either upload an image that you've already got on your computer or you can search the web. Searching the web is probably easier because then you don't have to open a separate window or anything. So you can just search Google. So I'm just going to search linguistics for now and see what pops up. Okay, cool. And you can either click on this or you can drag and drop. So I'm just going to drag and drop. Okay, there we go. And then you can just resize it using the corners like you normally would. There we go. Um, if you want, you can also insert audio over this. Um, so if you go insert audio and if you've already got some files of you talking or another person talking about linguistics, you can put them in. You can put videos as well and any charts or diagrams you need, you can add those too. Now, if you have to present this to the class or to your teacher and you want to write some important notes for yourself, you can write them down here. And then when you're presenting, the people seeing your presentation won't be able to see these notes. Only you will be able to see these. So this is a good idea. If you think you might forget something, you can add it there. Okay, another handy tool for this is your explore tool. So if you hit explore, and again, let's search for linguistics here. Now this will search the cloud, the web, and for images as well. So if I go web, and I want some information about this, and uh, let's just go to Wikipedia here. And then let's just say I'm going to copy and paste this here. Go back here, and I can insert my text box again, click here. And then inside I can copy and paste. And we can make this the same as we did before, make it a bit bigger. Okay, there we go, cool. 
Okay, so that's just an easier way so you don't have to keep opening tabs and tabs and tabs. You can just go to Explore and you can search lots of different stuff there. And that just makes it a bit quicker for you. Okay, so let's just say you finish your presentation. When you want to present, just go up here and, and go present. And then you can present this to your teacher while you're sharing your screen from Google Meet. So remember we wrote those notes in case you forget something. If you want, you can go down here and click notes and this will come up with notes for each presentation. Um, and again, nobody will be able to see this. It will just, they'll be able to just see this presentation here. So let's go back to our presentation then. So if your teacher has asked you to share this, if this is an assignment and you need to put it into your Google Classroom, you've got two options. Either you can go up here and go share. Now, this is really important. If you're adding a link here, you need to make sure other people can access it, especially your teacher. So if all you, if your teacher needs to grade this, then they need to be able to edit and you need to go, anyone with this link can edit. If you don't, your teacher won't be able to grade it. It's that simple. So you can either copy that link and then you can go back to your Google Classroom. So let's go to our class and scroll down here. And then you can go into your class and your classwork. And then wherever your teacher has assigned this, let's just say uh, it's this one, for example. It's not, but we can just go over your assignment. Okay, now wherever your teacher has assigned this, you can go add or create. And you can either put that link in, which we've just done there, copy and paste, or you can go add and go directly from your Google Drive. Because remember, anything from an app, from a, a slide, from a Google Doc, from anything else, all of this will go straight into your drive. It will save there and you won't have to do anything. So you can go back and go up to Google Drive and then you'll be able to see your presentation here and you can just hit that and add. And you can say hand in. And then your teacher will be able to see that there. So that's it for Google Slides. Hopefully that helped you. If you're watching this on YouTube and you've got a question, feel free to comment below uh, or you can go back to your teacher and ask them if they know too. So that's everything and I'll see you in another video. Bye.